Listen, I know you were a little concerned about how the layout was gonna be, but I'm picturing you and these beautiful white sand beaches, right? And these powder blue skies, crystal beautiful water, and you stand in the middle of all of this, looking breathtaking. So, when are we gonna fuck? What? According to Jacqueline, you are really great in bed. Well, Jacqueline told you I was really good in bed. Well, according to Jacqueline, you really know how to move your ass, you know? Oh, she told you I know how to move my ass in bed. Okay, okay. Uh, well, uh, I, I don't know what Mrs. Little Jack told you, but it's not that kind of party, and I'd appreciate it if... What's the matter with you? Stop that! Stop! Stop it! Will you stop it? Get out of here! I'm mad! Alors! I mean, I don't believe this. You are going to turn down... Like this? Staring you smack in your face. No man can turn down this. Timber! Stop it. I don't know any man that can refuse this. You put Timber! Timber! The people are eating in here. Timber! Hey. What? Wow! Wow! Trying to find our cat. Where is that cat? What's the with you stop What's the matter with you? You don't like women? Huh? Yes, that's it. I don't like women at all. And you, you, he's... Wow! <laughs> and he is... Never! Oh, merde! Toi, tu sais même pas. C'est chier. Même pas baissé. Pas t'enculé. Tout, tout mon fout. Yo, what up, fellas? What up, fellas? I said, what up, fellas? It's your man in the building, bro. The Shave Lion King. Yo, bro, check this out, man. <laughs> so I was sitting here, man, and I'm just trying to battle all of these young ninjas out here. You know, they walking up to Sensei with, with no respect. They got the boot in their mouth. Right. So I'm trying to humble these guys down. I'm trying to show them and educate them the best way I can about how to hold your seed. So what I come up with, bro, is you got to understand this, man. There's a consequence to every single action, man. It's just the way that it is, man. This is why you got to pick your moves in this matrix wisely, bro. Okay. Or you could end up tripping up, bro, and falling on your face. And we all know this, bro, because we all are in this race. We all know, bro, what happens, man, when you don't got your ducks in order, man. So my question to you is, brothers, what you going to do? What's you gonna do, bro, after you don't bust it at nut? What you gonna do, bro? What are you gonna do? Let me tell you guys something, man. I was in that situation so many times. I've been there, bro. I know exactly what goes on, man. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through your mind. I'm gonna walk you through the options that most of y'all end up going down because what you gotta understand is this is a negative consequence, bro. Okay. This is a negative consequence on your life, bro. All right. Every time you do this, bro, guess what, man? You losing some stripes, player. Okay. That, that mane that you think you got around your beard, bro. <laughs> You're losing its timber. You know what I'm saying? You're losing its firmness. You're losing its volume. You're balling. You're thinning. You're losing your life force, bro. So your body starts to show that, bro. OK, this is the real talk, bro. OK, so you got to understand what is it that you going to do, bro, after you busted that macadamia nut? I saw, man, I'm going to tell you exactly what happens, man. OK, most of you guys out there can already know, man, because I see it every single day. I see the busted and disgusted men every single day, bro. So I know what it's doing to you. You can't come up here and sit here and cap to me and tell me this is not you. 
And I'm going to tell you what you're going to end up being like, bro, just like the rest of these men, bro, okay? Lost themselves, depleted. So after you buy what you're going to no. do, man, you're going to end up getting comfortable, bro. You're going to up, you gonna end up going back again and again and again. All of a sudden, you starting to see your life playing out like a casino. You see all of these women walking around in society, bro, okay? And you already know what time it is, okay? So every time you think it's time for you to go do something, what you're doing, you going in and you cashing out, bro. You going in and you just folding. You losing all your money. You just you just don't give a damn where you put the bet. You just let it go, bro, all right? And then what you end up doing is the life of every modern man is, bro, end up having to start from scratch, rebuild, okay? This right here, bro, tells me that the logic of the modern man is not intact, bro, okay? When you are a person, man, who chooses to not look at everything that you do closely and break it down with logical sense as a man, which you have and what you're able to do, all right, signifies, bro, that you might not be in control of your vessel, okay? You might not, ha- you might need to go deep, deep inside, bro, do some detox and do some cleansing, bro, and actually get on retention and see what's going on with your life, okay? Because this is what's going to happen to you, bro. You're going to end up going back again and again and again and again, bro, losing yourself over and over and over again. And then what ends up happening, bro? You start to get all clingy, bro. You start to get all protective, bro. Strike one, you don't already lost your frame, bro. A retaining man does not act like that, bro. A retaining man, bro, is not going to have these lower chakra lower chakra bro issues like jealousy okay and spying on people and not having trust and this all starts to develop once you've depleted yourself how do i know because i've seen it and i can tell you you the same just as every other male out here it happens to every male this is the downfall and it gets worse and worse and worse as it goes so now you don't lost yourself bro you done depleted your damn balls over and over and over. And now you done got clingy. Now you done got all jealous. Now you, you know, you all digging in your girl's phone, bro. Now you all wonder what she doing, bro. You done just fell from a king, bro. All right. To a damn peasant. You out here doing little things that show us, bro, that you don't have no more masculinity. Maybe you might need to go on a a a, a, a macadamia fast. nut, <laughs> okay? Because you don't lost something about yourself, bro. You gotta understand, man. When you start acting like this, bro, all right, this is all. This is that downward spiral that you go. Now let me tell you, it gets worse. So after you don't fell into that, right? You hazelnut, hazelnut. Bust it, you don't fall. In, you don't turn into a little coomer. Your girl don't even like you no more. Now she keeping a box for you every single night of the week. You might get it on the weekend or that you get paid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you you a little bum now, okay? Now all of a sudden you know that your knees ain't getting melt, bro. So what you gonna do? You gonna go down in the room, get in that shoebox and pull out some corn. Now, here's where your life goes down to another spiral. You, you see how this starts, right? You see how this starts as a man that comes out here that thinks he can just release his seed, okay? That he's not going to end up falling victim, bro, to the same dopamine crack that, that every modern man is out here facing. Every modern man out here got the crack addiction, bro. All of them, they high. They high off the dope. <laughs> this is what these fools is doing, bro. They're doing it every day. That every day, bro, they're gonna get it one way or another. Oh, my girl tripping, then I'm just gonna go downstairs and whack me one. This is what these guys is doing, bro. And they don't see how their life is slowly going to fall apart. Okay. And they're gonna end up being this guy that I tell you about at the end of the story. So listen, you done gone through all of that, bro. 
Okay, you don't go from releasing your seed. Now you don't in that room now. You you watching the corn, bro. You in there touching yourself, bro. Ew. That's nasty, bro. Ew. If I ever saw one of y'all touching y'all ding ding, bro, I would never talk to you ever again. And I'm keeping it a hundred, bro. That's ew. What are y'all doing, man? Do you know what you look like? That's disgusting, bro. That's a degenerate, bro. That's freaking low, disgusting, low vibrating uh, behavior. And you know it, man. And this is what you don't fall into. Not only that, bro, you in the room by yourself, uh, making yourself, uh, you, you in there emulating the feminine, bro. You in there really getting into it, bro. You in there like, uh, 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 uh. you in there doing this, bro, to a videotape that somebody don't pay somebody else, bro, to perform. <laughs> don't you look like a jackass? And here's the worst part, bro. Here's the worst part, bro. You end up spooging in that little cheap ass McDonald's napkin. You know, the one that just melt all in your hand as soon as your warm shit hit it. It just melt all in your hand. Now you got that shit all over your hand. And what's the first thing that you go do? You go run into the bathroom and you go flush your seed down the toilet. is your downward spiral, bro, okay, into a world where you will not be able to perform and bounce out of it like Superman because you don't lost all your powers. Bro, you are now holding kryptonite. Your ding ding has been infected by kryptonite pieces and shards. You done been in every single one of these women's caves, bro, and now your life is going downhill because you have no energy, bro, to supercharge you to get back to your base level, bro, so you can fly out of this B-I-T-C-H. Now you're stuck. You're falling farther and farther, and it gets worse, and it gets worse. So after all that goes on, bro, okay, you start to start to show the outside world what you look like on the inside, <laughs> You start walking around with no lineup. <laughs> you start walking around with dandruff cornflakes all up in your head. <laughs> you start walking around smelling like a damn dumpster outside of a damn seafood restaurant. Okay. <laughs> you walking around with them busted ass J's nigga that look like they talking when they walking. <laughs> this is you. You walking around here looking just trash, bro. All right. <laughs> a five o'clock shed on my ass. <laughs> This mug haven't shaved in like four or five months, G. <laughs> he got them yellow teeth, bro. All right. My man is busted and disgusted. He don't ever come out. You know why? Because all he would rather do with his time, bro, is come home from whatever venture he has to go out in the outside world that he hates because now he has not developed this hate for the outside world, bro, because he don't lost all his confidence. He don't lost all his life force energy. So now he can't go back out in the outside world and, and, and interact with regular people no more. His world's messed up. His world's cyber world now. The only only people he get along with is the girl that he pays seventy five dollars every single weekend to come in and talk to, and she don't even really like his ass. This is where y'all be heading, bro. This is where y'all are going, man. Okay, and I've seen it happen. I've seen it destroy kings, bro. I've seen it destroy kings, bro. And what the hell it is you think you are? This is why I can't touch take y'all seriously, bro. If you're not retaining your seed. I can't take you seriously, bro. There's too much at risk, bro. Okay. There is too much on the line, bro, for you to be out here playing with your time, bro. And you know what I'm talking about, man. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. This is where you fall. This is how quickly you lose your godhood, bro. Okay. And not only that, bro. Okay. After everything's done fell apart, man. Okay. Now you contemplating suicide. <laughs> you got ultimate depression. <laughs> you don't put on weight. You got cankles. <laughs> Bro, 
You've lost yourself. I see it happen. And now you give in to things like sitting at home all day and playing video games. When you know 99% of you video gamers are out there whacking it. Because I don't hear 99% of you video gamers talking about retention at all. And we already know what your world consists of. So I'm telling y'all what's going out here. I'm telling y'all what's going on out here because I've seen it from the inside. I haven't been as corrupted as many of these people, but I've seen it and I can understand the way my mind works. I can see where this goes. Okay. And this is a deep rabbit hole, bro. This is a deep rabbit hole, man, that you're not going to be able to pull yourself out of if you don't take life seriously, bro. All right. This is where you're headed, man. You got to understand, man. You got to understand. Like I'm telling you, man. Every single time that a man wants to lose his power, bro, he goes and he finds a woman, okay? And this is no disrespect to no women. Listen to the metaphor to what I'm telling you. Every time a man wants to lose the power that he has, bro, he go and finds himself a woman, bro. And then you got to understand, if this man isn't a retainer, if this man doesn't understand that he's doing this for strictly procreation, then this man is going to fall in the trap that 99.9% .9 of the men fall into and never wreak their peak potential, bro. Never. This is why there's only a few guys in the world who've left these messages, all right, that are walking this walk, bro, okay, that are truly cultivating this true power, bro, that we have, that most of the men, okay, will never ever be able to achieve and people want to sit up here and act like this isn't some kind of this doesn't make you like some kind of christ how does it not you hater how does it not you all have the ability to and if you were to do it you would see exactly how it relates to such but since you can't retain your seed for longer than a month you have no idea what kind of spiritual power and intuition one is receiving when they're doing this you just need to sit down and watch the show Okay, because this is what's happening, man. All right. And this is the power of the cultivating the energy, man, because I told you, you can cr create and attract anything, man. And I, I really, truly mean this, y'all. I really, truly mean this, man. And I see it every day, bro. Every day, man. I'm just like, man, these people don't understand. They just be looking at me like I'm acting. <laughs> they don't understand. This is me. If they were, if you, if you were to meet the people that I know, they would, they would, you'd be able to tell them that, no, that this is the way this guy really is. Okay. These people don't, they just don't understand how I'm so energetic, how I'm so positive, how I'm never get upset, how I'm always happy, how I'm always, if you always hear me talk, I'm always trying to uplift someone and give somebody some positive information, bro, to help them change their life. Because I can tell you, man, I look into people's eyes, bro, and I can tell what's going on. This is why people open up to me and just talk to me, bro. I'm looking at them with a the pure soul. They can confess to me, bro. And there's things that obviously I have learned on my walk because now I'm walking in pureness. I wasn't born like this. I mean, we were born like this, but we have been tainted. Okay. Even what? get tainted. They're born pure, but they eventually get tainted. So for another to be able to have that connection by looking into your eyes, which is that seat of the soul, okay, and they will be able to resonate and tell the person that you are, you can see why these abilities are happening for someone like me on seed retention. And this is why I preach this to you guys, because it's really that remarkable, okay? So this is all I want you guys to do. I don't want to be on here too long, man. I just wanted to come and tell you guys that you're wasting your time, man. Okay. If you're not doing this, man. Okay. Because everything else that you got going on, bro. Okay. Is going to wear you down. And eventually, bro, it's going to take you out, bro. Okay. So the question is to you, bro. So what's next, bro? After you bust that. Ass you nut. What is next, bro? And you can't tell me that it's a uh, it's on a positive route to the moon. <laughs> Don't even sit here and cap. Once you bust that, you, man, you are now in a battle, bro. <laughs> you are now in a battle with your mind and your body. <laughs> you know the truth. You know you shouldn't be going and visiting that warm place in the cave in a far off land. You know you shouldn't be visiting that place. 
but you just have this thing because the way that cave makes you feel, bro, the temperature is just right, bro. Whew, I get it. But what you don't understand is now you're in a battle every single day of trying to hold back, releasing what's keeping you alive. And if, without the proper discipline, without the proper tactics, bro, you're going to become a victim. Okay. Just like every other man. All right. And we've seen how far it can go. It can completely drive you into that dirt, bro. Okay. In most cases it will. All right. Because once you've lost your identity as a man, and now you only believe in doing things that are going against you evolving. Okay. We now have a problem. Okay. We now have a problem. All right. And this is what we're not trying to create in a society, all right? So this is why this is important, guys. Dylan, what's happening with you, man? How you doing tonight, man? My man, Jim, in the building. Jim, what's happening with you, bro? I see you, bro. I see you, man. Facts, bro. He says, Frank Mentor says, the main key to being able to retain semen is to realize that you are not, you are not your thoughts or your emotions. And that's a fact, bro. That's a fact, bro. But again, man, there's so many factors that, that are out there that are actually hindering people to reach this potential, man, that, you know, most people, until they really give themselves you know, over, like I've told you, uh, you have to give yourself over. If you don't, you're going to be one of these people, bro, that now going through and are questioning things that shouldn't be questioned. Okay. When I tell you, you need to just give yourself over so you don't have no blockages. You don't have nothing that comes in that stops you um, from ascending forward, bro. Okay. By shooting your own self in the foot, man, I tell you, this is what you have to do. Okay. But again, a lot of you have not let go of the complex that <laughs> has been given to you. And until you do that, all right, you're not going to understand the beauty of life. You're not going to understand the beauty of retention and fullness. And I put that, I'll, I'll, I'll sign that and I'll stamp that and I'll put that anywhere. Okay. Cause it's the truth. All right. But until you guys, like I said, put down all these vices, man. All right. Go and really look yourself in the mirror and be for real, bro. Okay. Be for real with yourself or what's going on, man. Be for real. You know, you don't got no self-control partner. You know, you don't, you know, you're all up in your feelings, bro. Okay. You know, you do, you know, you, you spying on your girl, you know, you're insecure. Okay. You, you know, you know, you're all that bro, because your balls are low and you're not going to sit up here and tell me otherwise. All right. This is why all you guys are out there on juice. This is why you, all you guys are out there doing the things that you do, man, because there's a little bit of that somewhere. Okay. <laughs> and like I said, you can't hide things on the inside. It comes to the surface. Okay. And it manifests and things like that. Okay. When people should be walking around here natural, bro, okay? And this is what retaining your seat is going to bring you back to. It's going to bring you back to that level. It's a fact, bro. Flowing within, with, with the wind says, once you get a taste, there's no going back. And that's the truth, bro. Once I got a taste, man, and once I felt the energy, bro, and once I start to really weigh the consequences of our of the actions that we do every single day, and I tell you, man, you, if you if if you turn into a genius by retaining your seed for long periods of time, what what kind of equations you think are going on in your head about every single time that you release and what's the spiral is going to look like? It starts to become a pretty clear picture because most of us have been halfway down that spiral. And we understand which way was up and we understand which way was down and we saw which way we were headed. Okay. But most of us are not willing to sit here and identify that. Okay. Obviously there's people walking around this earth, bro, who are, you know, are hiding these addictions, man. And these are the people we need to, you know, to, to let know that there's a power that they have that they haven't tapped into, man. And it's seed retention, man. And it's that important, man. Okay. It's one of these things, man. If it was, think about all the greatest things in the world, man, that you you discover and you'd be like, wow, that'd be so amazing if everyone knew this. Why wouldn't this be at the top of the list? Because it would literally make you open your eyes to this matrix. I'm telling you, it's the cheat code to the matrix, bro. It's the combo breaker, bro. I'm telling you, bro. It's the combo breaker, bro. 
All right. This is what it is, man. Okay. And you guys need to tap in. Caleb, what's happening with you, brother? Facts, bro. He says, sacrifice, sacrifice pleasures. You reap, you reap, you reap what you sow out there. You re bro, listen. Bro, you reap what you sow is the truth, bro. And this is what I'm trying to tell you guys, man. If if you just were to just change your life today, man, make it a marker, write it down. This is why I do semen retention. This is why I count my days. Bro, people out here be saying all kinds of stuff. And listen, when I was low in my days, and this is no shot at nobody, anybody, because I know there's a lot of people that says it. But when I was low in my days and I didn't have, you know, a whole lot of confidence brewing and I didn't have everything figured out yet in my life and I didn't have that confidence and sureness of where my boat was sailing, bro, and my destination would possibly be. Okay. That's the kind of thinking I thought. But I understood like as I started going longer and longer and longer that literally you can turn your life into a journal. Okay. You can write things down. You can document it online like I'm doing. Okay. These things keep you accountable. These things show you your growth. Okay. And without days on certain days, you wouldn't be able to find certain markers, okay, of change or certain markers of certain inspiration or certain markers of certain creativity that were higher during certain times. There's, see, when I tell you that you have to break down every level and don't let your mind control you and your emotions sway you from really critically thinking and understand that there's a, a evolving door, bro, a revolving door, bro to all the information that it is that you think that you know. There's that much more to learn on it, okay? And this is what I'm seeing on my days, okay? This is why I do it, okay? Because it's a reminder, all right? It keeps me, it keeps me responsible, bro, all right? This is what it does for me, all right? And it, it's a timeline for me. And this is a journal of my life. Who, would, who wouldn't want to keep themselves accountable online where people were going to sit here and try to say you didn't do certain amount of things you didn't do this you have no proof oh you have too many things that are in between when i'm sitting here and this is what my content is about then this is what i'm going to do because it documents everything that i'm doing i hear you jeff bro Frank Mentor says the social context is very well constructed so that men release the seed and do not discover the true potential. If all men held back, which is impossible, the world would already be different. The key, bro, that's the fact. That's the fact, Frank. <laughs> I'm, I've been trying to tell people this, man. Okay. And this is the, this is the facts, bro. All right. And I just want you guys to understand, man, that you have the power bro man listen they put all these cartoons in our face for a reason bro all right you got brave star for the early 90s you got you got power rangers you got all of these these you know he-man bro you got all of these different cartoons that show you abilities okay of regular people bro okay we have these abilities but we refuse to tap in man like, like my man Frank said, it's impossible for some men, bro. But listen, I'm not going to give up on everybody, man, because I know somebody is at that pivotal point, bro, where they're feeling like rock bottom is near. And before you feel like rock bottom is near, I want you to understand that you have something here, bro, that's going to be your best friend, bro. All right. It's going to be your good guy doll, bro. I'm telling you. All right. It's going to talk to you. It's going to tell you to do the right things. But all you got to do is give in and listen. Listen to this higher self. Listen to this voice that's always been there. Okay. Like I said, it's like the cartoons. Remember the cartoons they used to show us when the when the um the 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 bad person would always be in the mix of thinking something negative, and then you would have that little white figure pop up and you have that little black figure pop up. And one was negative and one was positive. And what ends up happening? He'd always listen to the negative one. And this is what it is that you're doing. Okay. 
here it is. You're having that same, that same comparison in your life that they've been showing you all over our TVs, bro. They've been programming you and telling you this is the way it is, but you still don't see it. Okay. You have been battling this little voice in your head, man. And from here on out, if you keep acquiescing to that lower entity, the red chakra, okay, you're going to do the things that evolve around that energy. But if you stop and you cut that energy off, bro, and you ascend from it, you rise with your energy, okay, into your higher chakras, okay? It's just, don't use the word chakras and get confused over something. It's just you're raising your energy higher. And every step is like an elevator, okay? It's a different level of energy. And this is essentially your chakras. So you raise your energy to your higher chakras, bro. And now you start thinking with this higher mind. And now what you're doing, now you're able to look down on what you used to do with a clearer eye because you're not caught up in it. And now you can see how it's constructed. You can see how it was never real. You can see how it was all make-believe. You can see how it was all your mind playing tricks on you, ghetto boys, okay? This is what you start to see, and you become now the creator because now you can start creating from a different level, a different perspective, okay, where energy is pure. So you'll be able to attract anything because the, 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 the creator and his creation is just that. His energy is pure. And you are now able to attract all of that. This is how people are showing you how LOA really works. You can you can do this. And anyone can do this with your own magnetism. But you got to be willing to put in the work. And not many of you are willing to put in the work. That's why most of you are just going to watch from the crowd and remain in your lower energy and get these hate, jealousy, and envy. And that's the worst energy to be in, man. Because it's going to consume you. You're going to die a lonely death. All right. You're going to die depressed. You're going to die when nobody want to be around you. Nobody want to help you. Your life is hard. You're creating all these negative thoughts in your head. And every single thought that goes to your head, you don't understand that that's creating your reality. So it's so much better to think from this perspective, man, because you're always thinking positive. And this is why so many great things happen to you. This is why you're always in such a great mood because it's a mental thing first. Okay. So until you understand that, you're going to have that issue at all times. But just understand, guys, don't ever give up. Don't ever give up on yourself. Remember, you got to start putting those. That's a positive word right there. That's a positive affirmation. Don't ever give up. That's why I say it. Because in your worst times, in your hardest times, that's what I want you to say to yourself. I want you to say, don't ever give up. Understand who you're fighting for, which is yourself. It's always being yourself. You're the only person down here who's going to change what you got going on tomorrow. I guarantee you there's no entity going to come down here tomorrow and get your ass up out of bed and get you to work. You're going to have to get your ass up. You're going to have to do all the things that require for you to get to that work. Okay. But I, I, I promise you this. I promise you this. And this is the last thing I'm going to say, I promise you this. When you do that and you live that life like that, bro, watch how everything just starts working out. Watch how you become that person that you always wanted to be. I'm telling you, that person that you always wanted to be, watch, okay? So that's all I want to tell you guys, man. I appreciate everybody for being in here. I'm about to dip out of here, man. I hope you guys have a good night, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. I love you guys, man. Stay safe. Peace. I will not stay Even if I must sacrifice my life.